<laughs> the sewer. <Sylvia. laughs> Elvis is in the building. Rob. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> oh, very. What's the word? Bada bing. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll show Kate later. What's this new job of hers? Well, her official title is something like assistant event organizer, but unofficially she's Sadie King's dog's body. Helping sort out charity's wedding, that sort of thing. She enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, seems to be. Oh, I wouldn't want to put myself in between Sadie and charity. Sparks are bound to fly sooner or later. Well, I hope Katie's not in the firing line. She's got enough to contend with at the moment. Looks like she's homeless again. How come? Well, with Turner living with Betty. Alan's at Betty's? When did she get back? And why there? Well, it was hardly going to stay at the Grange after what happened. So anyway, about Kate... Hang on, back up a bit. After, after what happened? Well, from what I gather, Steph lost her marbles and tried to finish off Alan the way she might have already done to Shelley. What? Well, I'll explain it all later, right? But what you do need to know is that Katie's been living here since it all kicked off. But we've really needed her, haven't we, Victoria? She helped me look after Robert. <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, then we'll just find somewhere else. Fine. Yeah, well, Dad's at Pear Tree today. I'll, I'll make sure he looks in on her. All right. Bye. Everything all right? Uh, there's a cat fight brewing, but I'm sure Dad can deal with it. Good. Well, Jean and I were wondering whether you'd like to try one of our gingerbread men. Go on, don't disappoint her. Mmm. <laughs> Bubbly. Hmm. <laughs> I think I was a little ambitious. Maybe next time I'll stick to buns. Hmm. I suppose I've got all this to learn. Child development. I suppose. You too. Don't think I'm going to be the only one changing nappies. I don't know about that. Jimmy, I want to do this and I want to do it properly. You and me together. You, you know it's what I've wanted. Well then, come with me to see Dr. Anders this afternoon. What for? Well, to see that I'm serious about all this. You've told me that before. Yeah, but this time I mean it. I really do. No more secret injections, no more lies. Why don't you come and see for yourself? Oh, meeting over. Hello. Now, has she been a good girl for you? She has been a little angel. Really? And she really must be sickening for something. <laughs> oh, thank you, both of you. Uh, uh, napkins, Check. cutlery, Check. tablecloths. Check. Look, it, it's all there, okay? I promise you. I have done this a couple of times before, you know. Yeah, well, I haven't. It's a bit different from dishing out tea and scones to pensioners in the car. I've been waiting for you. Right, come in, chill out. Well, I can't. If I don't get this right, then I won't get the bonus. And I need it, they have to move out of Jack's. So hurry up. I won't count my chickens, Kate. It's probably only a book token. No, they've already drawn the cash for everybody. Now, come on. I think you're doing a grand job. Oh, well, I just don't want to let Katie down. She's organising this party for the Kings, and look how stressed she is. Hey, trust me, I'm a chef. Yeah, hey, give me a break. How hard can it be, eh? Just get a few cans in, make a few butties, jobs are good, and... And that's why Marlon's a top caterer, <laughs> and you are, uh, whatever it is you are. Man of the world. Is that a posh way of saying layabout? Oh, and you'll be getting across to the village hall. That's it, off you go! See you later. <laughs> yeah, with any luck, I 